you have now learned how every MPI process runs an, an instance of the same code. However, there are ways of distinguishing the processes from each other. You just learned MPI get processor name. Now that is not the most common way of telling processes apart. The next two commands are MPI com rank and com size. Uh, MPI com size tells you how many processes there are in your run and MPI com rank tells, uh, gives on every process its unique number. So if you start your process um, 25 way parallel then MPI com size will tell you there are 25 MPI processes and MPI com rank will return a number that is from 0 to 24. In the argument list of these commands, you see a MPI com argument. That is a communicator, and for now, whenever you see a communicator, just fill in MPI com world, all caps, uh, underscores. So these two routines have the following prototypes. Um, they take a, a communicator and a size argument, <coughs> MPI com size does. In C, you need to pass the address of an int. In Fortran, you pass the int itself. And Fortran, remember, has an extra error parameter. In Python, if you have a MPI com object, then uh, it's a method of the object, so it's get size with empty parentheses after it. Same with com rank. A com uh, communicator argument and an integer argument, which in C is an address, in Fortran it's the integer itself, and in um, Python you pass no arguments because it's a method of the um, communicator object. Okay, with this you can do exercise number four. Write a program where each process prints out a message that reports reports its number and how many processes there are in total. So your program should say something like hello I am process 2 out of 17. Also write a second version of this program where each process opens a unique file and writes something to it, for instance its process number. Now this is a useful exercise but you have to be aware that if you do run this at large scale your system administrator may complain about you generating too many files. So use this sparingly, but it's a useful uh, skill to have. When you've done this exercise, so in this exercise, every process does the same thing. It prints out a message. When you've done this exercise, do a slight variant where a program, um, where only the program where only the process with number zero reports on how many processes there are in total. So process zero needs to print, hello, I am process zero, and there are 79 processes total. So how do you get one process to print out something and the others not to print out something? Okay, that's your exercise.